Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to Spedamix's Advanced Spooder Maneuver School. So, here I will be teaching you two maneuvers with mechanical legs. First of all, we have the uh, idea of changing direction while retaining your orientation. And then there's also like the opposite, you know, you change your orientation while retaining your direction. The idea here is to decouple movement from your orientation, you know, you are a mechanical leg build which can move like any direction at the same speed, you're not a car, you should move like a super rigid and tanky hover, you know. You know, you're, you're not supposed to do things like this, where you go like here, and then you go like here, you're not a car, you know, cars move like this, you're better, you're, you're better than a car. This thing, uh, uh, obviously with tsun uh, tsunamis you sometimes have to like stop and you know think about your life choices when, while your weapons charge up, you know. But this works even better with weapons like fortune or reaper or tackler or you know other raw weapons. So the first lesson: change your direction while retaining orientation. You know, you're going into, say, into a certain direction. Your squad leader has uh, said push forward, and then he says turn back, turn back. You don't turn your back, your back actually to the enemy. You change your direction while retaining your orientation. You're still for, uh, facing towards the enemy. You can even shoot them while they come. You know. And it also works for strafe. You know, say you strafe out of cover like this, and then you shoot the enemy, and then you change your direction and you go back. You never have to stop like that. You practice this um, by doing circles. You do circles. You obviously have to use Q and E in order to, in order to uh, properly execute circles. So, you know, get used to Q and E, you know. I never use the space bar for straight thing, never. And I also move quite a lot diagonally if I have to. Here I'm moving diagonally and now I'm moving forward again. So, or, or you can just practice this, like going into one direction, sidestepping, and then like uh, going to the opposite direction. Uh, the second, uh, and oh yeah, uh, generally you want to orientate yourself so that your front is facing the enemy that's attacking you, or you are attacking him, or the enemy that the leader caught, the squad leader said, like go for the mammoth guy, you you try to front face him, he, I'm, here I am orientating myself towards the um, towards the tree, I'm changing my direction, you know, but I'm always orientating myself towards it, so you know, so obviously, you want to orientate yourself towards the enemy, you know. The second lesson here is uh, changing orientation while retaining your direction. That means stuff like this. You go into one direction, not, not the artist or the band, and then you change your uh, orientation like this. Then like, uh, whoops, like this. And then like this. And then finally like this, practice these maneuvers. I'm gonna change my direction, the other way here. Now I'm gonna do it clockwise, like this, and this, and this, and this. This is great for things like, you know, you're pushing forward, there's an enemy there, you take a shot at him, you expose your side, you, sh you use your uh, side and legs to tank a shot, you come back, take another shot, Expose the other cheek like Jesus did. There we go. Rock is charge up. Up we go again. Oh, there's somebody behind you. No problem. Let's let's make 180. 90 plus 90 equals 180. Apparently. There we go. We we reversed our orientation while uh, uh, keeping our direction. Yeah. So, and for the record, I'm using uh, my index finger for E plus D, so whenever I'm doing this, my middle finger is on the W, and my, uh, my uh, index finger is on the E and D buttons at the same time. So here I am, just one, one finger, two buttons. That sounds like a video or something. And ring finger, of course, for the Q plus A, here I am pressing ring finger for the two keyboards. Middle finger is of course for the W and S. You never need to go backwards and forwards at the same time, unless you're like om omnipotential god or something, you know. Yeah, that's it. Practice this. Two circles with Q and E and uh, W and S, and then practice these maneuvers like this in the in the test drive and improve your spoodering. Be the best spooder, king of spiders. Yeah. I'm out. Ciao.